Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel on a beautiful sunshiny day. Uh, sunshine absolutely belting into the workshop today, which is nice. You see it reflecting off this shiny Karcher steamer, which uh, I'm actually going to take apart and show you what it's all about. When I picked this up, I actually thought it was a pressure washer, so uh, obviously after bringing it into the workshop, you could see immediately it was a steamer. Uh, now, a couple of differences there were the uh, internal uh, parts. So with a pressure washer, you usually get some brass in there as well with the fittings, uh, maybe even some copper. Uh, with a steamer, you know, I wasn't actually that sure. Uh, I've seen a couple of really small handheld steamers, but I've never actually taken apart one this size before, so I'm actually quite interested to take it apart and see, you know, what is the kind of main thing inside, what holds the water, how does it produce the steam. So yeah, I was quite interested. So uh, I have actually already taken screws out of this one, so you know, there's not a lot to uh, actually do in terms of taking this one apart. And having a look at it, so you know, get right into it. Take off the lid, there was only say six screws or something at the bottom. And you can see there's some wire still attached to the main head unit. And you know, as you can see, other than this big metal piece which can hold the water, there is uh, there's nothing else. That's literally it. There doesn't seem to be in switches, uh, anything like that. So let's have a little bit of a closer look and see what this is. So the main housing unit, uh, big indicator there with the AL, looks like a big aluminium unit. So let's just get a magnet. Big magnet. See that doesn't stick to it. So that's big alum, aluminium unit there. And there is some. It does seem to be in two parts, so it's not just one solid unit. It's actually two units. Uh, or two parts of the unit. On the bottom, this piece here is the heating element. Uh, you actually see this in a lot of modern uh, kettles. Uh, let's see if I've got another kettle where I can show you. Yep, so here's a stainless steel kettle. And the bottom of it, you can see that's the heating element. So, very similar to that, yeah. It does look like I can possibly uh, wedge that heating element all the way out. Uh, and keep the aluminium intact, that would be good if I can. Uh, and obviously just have that one main piece of uh, cast aluminium. So that will be what I try to do. But uh, first things first is probably to try and disconnect it from uh, the main unit. There's a couple of screws in here as you can see. Sorry, sun's decided to take a peek behind the cloud. Uh, let's see if I've got something that fits this one. Oh look at that, first one, first one fits perfectly. So let's get the the drill in and take off those two screws. Uh, I'm doing this one handed so apologies uh, for the camera work. <laughs> okay, uh, let's revisit that one. Has it just uh, made everything do a 360? I'll take these uh, screws out and uh, We'll come back to it. Okay, so two screws out. And just leaves this little wire connection unit. Nice clean removal from the aluminium. So there's no kind of residue there. Uh, I'm going to remove those screws. Where are the other screws? So we've got a couple here, these ones actually connect the hose, the hose is where obviously the steam comes through. 
and then we've got a couple of bigger ones that connect the top part of the unit to the base okay so we will uh, see if we've got the right size for their ones it looks like a different size to the one I had seems to fit, oh let's have a look okay so we'll put that on so we'll get those ones undone okay screws removed just a little metal clip on there, we'll take that off obviously the other is just rubber hose and waste seems to be a little pressure increaser there, pushes it through obviously a smaller space, increases the pressure then we've got a couple of rubber pieces as well, still connected uh, they don't seem to easily pull off so I'll get a couple of we got a pair of pliers onto them in a minute but let's uh, try and address these bigger screws let's see if I've got something again that fits this nice and easy not a perfect fit but let's give it a try okay let's see if we can get a close up of this one and get into it quite budging there so I will uh, again just pause it briefly while I take these screws out and separate the unit okay so screws are out as you can see uh, took a little bit of effort to make it turn but as soon as I got it turning they managed to come out nice and easy uh, took the rubber piece off the top could just grab a pair of pliers and pull that off it was nice and easy and that leaves us with the aluminium bare unit okay and obviously as I say the bit at the bottom that's the heating element uh, and we'll need to remove that from the aluminium you know we don't want any kind of contamination with aluminium so we'll remove that it won't be aluminium that piece as well so uh, there'll be uh, I'm sure the piece inside is magnetic so let's just have a oh well, first of all let's open up the thing since that's about to fall off anyway so there we go nice piece of cast aluminium it's got a little gasket around the edge of it which we will take off a little rubber seal uh, and inside there's a little mesh uh, piece once they stop any uh, bits falling into the the hose itself uh, because you do get a little bit of build up inside these things, a little bit of calcium build up as you can see here. Uh, so we can clean all that out, it's nice and easy to clean. Uh, I'll put gloves on and all, all that before the, I clean that out. Uh, as I'm not going to get my fingers involved with that stuff. Uh, but yeah, nice and really simple. You know, if it surprises you actually, you know, what's involved in a a unit like this it's very very little uh, and you know you're probably paying quite a bit of money for one of these things maybe 60 70 quid or something like that for you know something that's essentially one piece of aluminium and a bit of uh, a bit of a power cord and that's really all there is you know yeah you put a new a heating element at the bottom of the aluminium and that's it the water gets heated creates the steam and Obviously your nozzle and all that that comes off of the steamer, you can create different pressures with that. So it's, uh, it's a nice little bit of kit, nice and easy, quite lightweight. Nice piece of uh, aluminium for al uh, aluminium pile. Once I clean that out and take that gauze out of the middle, uh, and obviously clean this piece here. But there's no real other metals there, as I say, other than on the bottom, trying to get this heating, uh, heating element off of it. So I think that'll be a bit of a mission, but uh, I'll give it a bash, and uh, I'll uh, show you if I can get that off. Okay, so having wedged the top piece uh, and pulled it back, actually just breaks these, this piece, uh, and reveals uh, a kind of steel wire going through it. Uh, Trying to focus 
and as you can see a lot of kind of powdery stuff inside it so still be able to wedge it out you know I'll take a bit of work with a hammer and a screwdriver just going round it and wedging it all out but I'll do that with uh, obviously some uh, eye protection and uh, a, a breather on as well because I don't want to uh, be breathing in whatever that white powder is yeah, I'm not sure what it is but yeah not something I want to be breathing in so uh, so that's it really I say a quick video just to show you what's inside cut your steamer uh, you know I do like uh, aluminium so I'm happy to get a nice big chunk like that uh, we'll clean that out and add that to our aluminium pile and obviously a nice power cord in there as well that we'll add but that's it nothing more nice simple unit uh, yeah so you know consider that when you're going out and buying one that's maybe uh, quite expensive but actually what's involved in it it's uh, very very simple all right thanks for watching see you next time bye